I'm chemistry faculty. For hybridization for ions. So ions is of two types. Positive ions and uh, negative ions. Positive ions are called cations. And negative ions are called uh, anions. Suppose uh, we have to take uh, NH4 plus molecule. NH4 plus ion. So in this ion, so central atom is a nitrogen. So nitrogen belongs to fifth group. So it contains five valency electrons. So ammonium ion contains four hydrogen atoms. So hydrogen is a monovalent. So hybridization of uh, nitrogen is equal to five plus four plus. It is a cation. Cation charge is plus that is equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 8 by 2 that is equal to 4. 4 means sp3 hybridization. Suppose I have to take CO3 minus 2 ion. CO3 minus 2 ion. So carbo carbonate ion. So in this molecule or in this ion, carbon is the central atom. So carbon belongs to fourth group. It contains four valency electrons. So oxygen is divalent. So that is zero plus zero So anion charge is 2. So here 4 is the valency electrons of uh, carbon atom. So oxygen is more divalent. It is 0. Next uh, anion charge is 2. Cation charge 0. So hybridization of carbon in CO3 minus 2 ion. So 4 plus 0 plus 2 minus 0 by 2. So that is equal to 6 by 2. That is equal to 3. 3 means uh, sp2 hybridization so intermixing of one s orbital and uh, two p orbital it produces uh, three sp2 hybrid orbital in the same way no3 minus ion nitrate ion so in nitrate ion nitrogen is the central atom so nitrogen hybridization is Hybridation of nitrogen is equal to 5 plus 0 plus 1 minus 0 by 2. So here 5 is the valency electrons of nitrogen. 0 is the divalent. Next 1 is the anion charge. So that is equal to 6 by 2. That is equal to 3. 3 means sp2 hybridation. Intermixing of an s orbital and 2 p orbital it produces uh, sp2 hybrid orbitals in the same way no3 no2 minus nitrite ion nitrite ion so in this ion nitrogen is the central atom nitrogen undergoes uh, sp2 hybridation there is uh, hybridation of uh, nitrogen is equal to 5 plus 0 plus 1 minus 0 by 2 here 5 Central atom of nitrogen, valency of nitrogen, 0 is the divalent. Next one is the cation, anion charge. Anion charge that is equal to 6 by 2, that is equal to 3. 3 means uh, sp2 hybridization. Now, how to calculate hybridization in organic compounds? We have to take different uh, organic compounds. So, in organic compounds, organic compounds so carbon undergoes uh, sp3 hybridization sp2 hybridization and uh, sp hybridization so suppose four sigma bonds plus one phi bond is equal to sp3 hybridization four sigma bonds plus one phi bond is equal to sp3 hybridization 3 sigma bonds plus sorry, it will cut Now, 
how to calculate hybridization in different uh, organic molecules so in organic molecules uh, carbon undergoes uh, sp3 sp2 and sp hybridization suppose four sigma bonds plus zero pi bond that is equal to sp3 hybridization three sigma bonds plus uh, one pi bond that is equal to sp2 hybridization two sigma bonds plus uh, two pi bonds that is equal to sp hybridization so hybridization equal to hybrid orbitals suppose we have to take uh, sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization contain four hybrid orbitals four hybrid orbitals that means one s orbital and uh, three p orbitals suppose sp2 hybridization sp2 hybridization contain three hybrid orbitals three hybrid orbitals that means one s orbital and two p orbitals that is equal to three that is a uh, sp2 hybridization suppose uh, sp hybridization sp hybridization contain two hybrid orbitals hybrid orbitals that means uh, one s orbital and uh, one p orbital that is equal to two hybrid orbitals so hybridization is equal to hybrid orbitals so how to calculate uh, pure orbitals now pure orbitals is equal to pure orbitals is equal to 2 into pi plus number of hydrogen atoms number of hydrogen atoms pure orbitals is equal to 2 into pi plus number of uh, hydrogen atoms suppose we have to take ch2 ch2 molecule that is ethylene so in ethylene carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization so this carbon contain three sigma bonds and one pi bond so this carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization next this carbon also undergoes sp2 hybridization so hybrid orbitals is equal to hybrid orbitals is equal to 2 into 3 that is equal to six hybrid orbitals pure orbitals is equal to pure orbitals is equal to 2 into ethylene contain only one pi bond one plus uh, ethylene contain four hydrogen atoms that is equal to four that two plus uh, four is equal to six so in ethylene molecule contain six hybrid orbitals and uh, six uh, pure orbitals the ratio of uh, pure and uh, hybrid orbitals pure and uh, hybrid orbitals 6 is to 6 that is equal to 1 is to 1 ratio pure and hybrid orbitals uh, ratio in ethylene molecule 1 is to 1 now we have to take uh, another molecule pentane this is the pentane this molecule can be written as c h h h so in pentane all carbons undergoes uh, sp3 hybridization because this carbon contain four sigma bonds 1 2 3 4 four sigma bonds so this carbon undergoes sp3 hybridization next carbon also undergoes sp3 hybridization 
because this carbon contain four sigma bond next sir next carbon also undergoes sp3 hybridization it contain four sigma bonds 1 2 3 4 so all carbons in pentane all carbons undergoes sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization so pentane contain how many hybrid orbitals so in pentane five carbon are are present so each carbon undergoes sp3 hybridization so 5 into 4 that is equal to 20 hybrid orbitals pentane contain 20 hybrid orbitals next are pure orbitals pure orbitals is equal to 2 into 5 plus number of hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms so 2 into in pentane there is no pi bonds that is zero plus number of hydrogens 3 5 7 9 12 that is equal to 12 so pentane contain 20 hybrid orbitals and uh, 12 pure orbitals the ratio of uh, pure and hybrid orbitals 12 is 20 12 is 